Good morning, Grape Rough Bobcats. I'm Kat. And I'm Kat. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. Also known as Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day. Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day has been celebrated since the early 1900s. Piddle, put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day is celebrated every year on May 29th, which is today. Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day is also celebrated in Europe. It's supposed to be good luck. So when you get home, put a pillow on your fridge. And now, for some announcements. And now, please rise to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for some announcements. Eighth graders, there's paper hanging on the chalkboard in the cafeteria for semi songs. Mr. Kogan. This is the last week for the pet food drive in support of the Monadnock Humane Society. Thank you for the many donations we have already gotten, but we still welcome any more this week. We will announce the which grade contributed the most food to the drive on Friday. Last call for community service hours. Today's lunch is chicken corn dog and crispy potato puffs. Eighth graders were amazing on the field trip yesterday. We are proud of you, eighth grade team. Track people, Gwen, Ronan, and Mackenzie, you need to turn in your uniforms like Brennan did. Otherwise, you're not getting any pizza. And now for weather. <laughs> weather with Bob. This weather is sponsored by Put a Pillow on Your Fridge Day. Did you know that a pillow is usually 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit? Or that on average a fridge is 40 degrees Fahrenheit? But anyway, the temperature for today will be a high of 68 and a low of 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Did you know that pillows feel cold because your head radiates heat? Remember, whatever the weather, Pillows are better than fridges. And now for I Am Root. Good morning, Bobcats, and Mrs. Cat with I Am Root. Today's root, as you probably guessed, is pillow. Pillow means, as you probably all know, a rectangular cloth bag with feathers, rubber, and other soft materials in it. Pillows came to existence in 7000 BCE in ancient Iraq. That's a long time ago. Did you know that the first pillows were hard? What did they have, rocks in them or something? Or that they only became popular household items during the Industrial Revolution of 1765? which is over 8,750 years later than they were invented. And even though a lot of cultures use pillows to put their head on, some Japanese sit on them instead of how Western cultures typically rest their head on them. Just thinking about a pillow makes me want to rest my head and fall asleep. Hi, this is Jokes with Kat. This day's jokes are about pillows and fridges that everyone has and knows very well. What, why did the person put sugar under their pillow? I don't know. Why? Because they wanted to have sweet dreams. <laughs> Tasty! What do you call an encyclopedia in the fridge? I don't know. What? Cold hard facts. <laughs> What do you get if you cross a stereo and a fridge? I don't know. What? Very cool music. <laughs> <laughs> Why is cold milk always so relaxed? 
I don't know. Why? Because it chills in the fridge. Uh, <laughs> remember, whatever the pillow or fridge, don't get them mixed up. And now for a special, special segment. Welcome back to Football and Football with Bob. And Bob. Hey, Bob, guess who won the Premier League? Um, it looks like Man City. Yes, correct. Man City have broken another record with winning four consecutive Premier League titles. Also, Jurgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool, Boo. left after eight years of coaching the club. They had a very sad farewell. But worst of all, Man City lost the FA Cup final against Man United. The FA Cup is a tournament where clubs from all leagues in England play each other, then the teams that won all their games are in the final. Wow, eight years of coaching and four Premier League titles? That's a lot. Sorry Man City lost the FA Cup. I know. What has been happening in the NFL lately? Well Bob, OTAs, or Organized Team Activities, have started. Basically, these are optional camps where players practice with their team. Although these are optional, most players show up and it's usually a bad sign when a player no-shows. These camps help teams get a look at their off-season acquisitions such as rookies and free agent signings. Wowie Kazowie Bob, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all for football. And football. And, and now, now for, for Principal Pick, Pick Me Up. Me up. Good morning, Bobcats. It's good to see you again. So first, I just wanted to say thank you very much for how wonderful and respectful and solemn our little service ceremony was on Thursday for Memorial Day. I hope at some point on Monday, you took the time to just reflect and consider all of those who have sacrificed their lives in preserving our freedoms in our country. So the second thing is we're down to two, two more days of testing. I know it's been a lot, it's been hard, and it's been a slog, but today and tomorrow are it. So we want you to bring your A game, we want you to try your hardest, take your time, and do the best that you can. Because the NWA stuff that we're doing today and tomorrow are really important in us understanding how much you have learned and what gains you've made over this year. So take it seriously, do your best, take your time. And remember, it's all about finishing strong. So at this point, we're going back to the anchors. And now for birthdays. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday today to Miss Katja. We're glad you were born. And good luck on testing. Respect, responsibility, and safety. It's the Bobcat way. You put the gray in Great Brook, so have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.